Use the means of today to reach the people of today. The Church Speaks, an episode where the Holy Father, the Pope, and the Bishops of the Philippines speaks about their apostolic letters and exhortations to all Catholic Christians. Addressing some 1,000 young people of the Shalom Catholic community in the Vatican, Pope Francis encourages them to keep their missionary charism alive as they celebrate the 40th anniversary of their Brazilian-born movement that aims to evangelize the young by the young. Be creative, he said, welcoming and docile to the Holy Spirit and the Church in your missionary drive. Pope Francis gave this challenging mandate to the young people of the Shalom Movement community when receiving them on Monday. The Shalom community, the Catholic community, was founded in Fortaleza, Brazil in 1982 by Moises Lauro de Azevedo, Pilho, and Maria Emmerich Equendo Nogueira to encourage young people be seeds of chains and builders of peace following the example set by Jesus. It subsequently has expanded to other countries around the world and in 2007 was recognized by the Pontifical Council for the Laity as an international association of faithful. It is the Holy Spirit who makes the Church live. Pope Francis thanked the founders for their introductory remarks and in particular for remembering the circumstances in which the Shalom Catholic community was born, that is during a Eucharistic celebration in Fortaleza. This, he said, reminds us that it's the Holy Spirit that makes the Church live that pushes it forward. Concerning the first question presented by the young woman named Fabiola, the Pope focused on the need to abide in Jesus and his love that touches people's hearts wherever we are in every environment. The rest, he added, is done by the Holy Spirit. With regard to the importance of leadership, of the young people in the church, Pope Francis once again emphasized the importance of listening to youths, talking to, and sharing experiences with them. He pointed out that being young is not so much about physical youth, but about youth of spirit, as recalled by Pope St. John II, warning against paternalism toward young people. As an example of the youth protagonism and holiness in the Church, the Pope cited Blessed Carlo Acutis, Saint Pier Gorgio, Frazzati, Saint Gabriel of the Sorrowful Virgin, Saint Teresa of the Child Jesus, and also Saint Francis and Saint Clare of Assisi. Answering the question about friendship with the poorest brothers and sisters, Pope Francis called attention to the extraordinary example of St. Teresa of Calcutta, who went out to find the Lord Jesus in the faces of the abandoned people. Reflecting on the present and future of this Shalom movement, following the testimonies of the young people about their experience, Pope Francis encouraged participants to keep alive their missionary enthusiasm, which over the years has given life to an excellent reality that now includes not only young people, but also families, Celebates committed to the mission and priest. We shall continue the Pope's reflection with the youth next Sunday. Prayer for the Synod We stand before you, Holy Spirit, as we gather together in your name. With you alone to guide us, make yourself at home in our hearts. Teach us the way we must go, and how we are to pursue it. We are weak and sinful. Do not let us promote disorder. Do not let ignorance lead us down the wrong path, nor partiality influence our actions. Let us find in you our unity, so that we may journey together to eternal life and not stray from the way of truth and what is right. All this we ask of you, who are at work 
in every place and time, in the communion of the Father and the Son, forever and ever. Amen. This Holy Mass is brought to you in collaboration with Ricardo O. Santiago Sr., Steve G. Santiago and Family, Stu and Nancy Santiago and Family, Stephen and Joy Santiago and Family, Salome Santiago Lim and Benedicto Lim Jr. and Family, Sunny Boy and Luella Santiago and Family, Fancy May D. Imbong, Mercy Evangelista and Family, St. John Paul II College of Davao, Royal Bread House Incorporated, Tat and Gigi Coronel and Family, Teresita Villa Abrile, T. Linao Trucking Services, Mr. and Mrs. Potasio and Fe Takandong and Family, Davao Durian Laundry Services Company, Shardan, JDB Diversified Incorporated, Melvin E. Aviles, Willans Food House, Silvina Datoy and Family, Jess and Amelia Dyson, Gus and Sophie, Mrs. Ampi Casas and Family, Adolfo and Malu Ato, Purita and Lorenzo and Family. Offering of the Holy Mass Accept Most Holy Trinity, this sacrifice fulfilled at one time by the Divine Word and now renewed on this altar through the hands of your priest. I unite myself to the intentions of Jesus Christ, priest and victim, that I may be entirely offered for your glory and for the salvation of all people. Through Jesus Christ, with Jesus Christ, and in Jesus Christ, I intend to adore your eternal majesty, to thank your immense goodness, to satisfy your offended justice, and to beseech your mercy for the church, for my dear ones, and for myself. Amen. We pray for the intentions of our regular sponsors, choir members, donors, offers, and volunteers of this Holy Mass, especially the sponsoring group. Engineer Ernesto and Erlinda Aguilar, Petroleum Philippines Incorporated and Odena Corporation, Dennis and Charlene Oy, Lani Diaz and Family. Thanksgiving intentions, Nida Tumalip, Anonymous, Magdalena Kukam, Carlos Tan and Family, P.U.P. Salamanca, Pablo T. Sol Cross Jr., Salvador Family, Fede La Viga Oy, Risa Flor Oy, Yamido, Rosel Caballero, University of Mindanao, Ramlion Resources Incorporated, Mr. and Mrs. Mandonito S. Bibay, Ahensha Kimsan, Davao Diamond Industry, Incorporated, Great Wall Trading. Good Health. Mercy Evangelista, Ernesto and Narlinda Aguilar, Nelio and Abilin de la Peña, Lilia and Bonifacio Mabilin, Ronel Mabilin, Vivian Cam, Captain Ireneo and Betty Malano, Lea Lianelio, Mrs. Alberta Malano, Maria Lita Montalban, Birthday Intentions, Prima Banyas, Babes Labra, Purita Calizo, Nilda Ramos, Letle Ternaes, Eliza Borla, Rosario Aliado. Special Intentions, Safe Voyage of Captain Arot and Crew of MB Hal Calip, or Calp, Hal Calp, Safe Voyage of Captain Marlon Morales, Safety of Captain Ireneo P. Malano, and the officers and crew of MB Lady Rose Bay. Safe voyage of Captain Erebert Malano and the officers and crew of MB Kakaiki. Recovery and healing of Emil Season, Regina Cispedes, Julie Sanz, Linda Torrejos, Rodi Torrejos, Puchulo Fuentes, Mary Ann Cispedes. For the eternal repose of Rodolfo Torrejos Sr., Bernardo Luciana, German, Erlinda, Claudio, Marotas, Julio, Minandro, Sr., Nastasio, Filipa, Eduardo, Ernesto, Sr., Jessica, Manuel, Renerio, Sr., Conrada, Adelaida, Leoncio, Damaso, Floro, Feli, Linda, Christine, Merlin, Lino, Francisca, Wenceslao, Benedicto, Gaudencio, Pablo, and victims, of war in Ukraine and in all parts of the world, all the souls in purgatory, all the six benefactors, sponsors, and cooperators of the Pauline's Media Mission. 
Prayer for the Sick Lord and Father, God without end and Almighty, through your grace you gave us strength and help in our weakness. In your mercy, touch your sick people, deliver them from their sicknesses, and restore their good health, so that assured of your goodness and love, they will praise and thank you in your holy name. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Brothers and sisters, this is our first Sunday in the month of the Rosary and of the Missions, the month in which we are urged to grow in our faith and pray for our increase in it. Remembering that faith is both a gift from the Lord and a commitment on our part. Faith is what enables us to accept with humble trust even the sad events that elude our comprehension. It is what empowers us to persevere in the good work even when we do not see the results we had hoped to attain. Faith is what drives our missionaries to devote all their energies to bring the light of the gospel to those who do not yet know Christ. The presider of this Mass is Father Nathaniel Ibanez, OSB, St. Benedict's Monastery, Kugun, Digo City. The choir during this Mass is the Harmonic Choir, San Pedro Cathedral Parish Choir, Davao City. Let us joyfully celebrate the banquet of love. Please stand as we start the Holy Mass. Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Dear brothers and sisters, that we may be worthy to celebrate this Mass. Let us call to mind our sins and beg the Lord for his pardon and mercy. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen.
Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that always pondering spiritual things, we may carry out in both word and deed that which is pleasing to you. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. The seemingly unchecked arrogance and cruelty of violent People have always been a severe test for the faith of the believers. Any delay on God's part in curbing those abuses seems unbearable for those who believe in His justice and omnipotence. In His reply, the Lord assures Habakkuk and us that everything will be put right at the proper time. The first reading. A reading from the book of the prophet Habakkuk. How long, O Lord? I cry for help, but you do not listen. I cry out to you, violence, but you do not intervene. Why do you let me see ruin? Why must I look at misery? Destruction and violence are before me. There is strife and clamorous discord. Then the Lord answered me and said, Write down the vision clearly upon the tablets so that one can read it readily. For the vision still has its time, presses on to fulfillment, and will not disappoint. If it delays, wait for it. It will surely come. It will not be late. The rash one has no integrity, but the just one, because of his faith, shall live. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thank you. 
words of encouragement by the Apostle Paul to his disciple Timothy. The fruit of the Spirit is indeed marvelous in all those who steer that gift into flame. The second reading. A reading from the second letter of Saint Paul to Timothy. Beloved, I remind you to steer into flame the gift of God that you have through the imposition of my hands. For God did not give us a spirit of cowardice, but rather of power and love and self-control. So, do not be ashamed of your testimony to our Lord, nor of me, a prisoner for his sake, but Bear your share of hardship for the gospel with the strength that comes from God. Take as your norm the sound words that you heard from me in the faith and love that are in Christ Jesus. Guard this rich trust with the help of the Holy Spirit that dwells within us. The Word of the Lord. from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. 
the apostle said to the Lord, Increase our faith. The Lord replied, If you have faith the size of a mustard seed, you would say to this mulberry tree, Be uprooted and planted in the sea, and it would obey you. Who among you would say to your servant, who has just come in from plowing or tending sheep in the field, come here immediately and take your place at table? Would he not rather say to him, prepare something for me to eat, put on your apron and wait on me while I eat and drink? You may eat and drink when I am finished. Is he grateful to the servant because he did what was commanded? He should it, so should it be with you. When you have done all you have been commanded, say, We are unprofitable servants. We have done what we were obliged to do. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. In our readings today, from first reading to the Gospel, one word comes to the fore, and that is faith. This point in time, we ask ourselves, how deep is my faith in the Lord? How strong is my faith in the Lord? One inevitable reality which would always challenge our faith is problem. As pointed out in the first reading, and when we are into that, it will, not, it will not just be a problem, but problems, even complicated problems. Problem after another problem after another problem. Making life difficult and more so with our faith. When we are in that situation, very problematic situation, or often than not, our reaction is, where is God? Where is God? There was this story about three men. I will just relate this to you in Cebuano. Okay, mas, mas dali siya sa isa-isay. One, ang isa katoliko, ang isa Buddhist, ang isa Muslim Islam. And then, they were challenged, mo ato sa pinakatuktok sa 20 floor nga building kunya muambak sa ubos magampo before muambak ang buhi ni kabut sa ubos tinuod iyang dios yung ng katoliko nako mga buhi baka ni sila ang ambak yung tong katoliko no kay sigurado gyud sa siyang faith and then nagunag ambak ang buddhist yung ang buddhist oh, buddha bless me buddha bless me before sini ambak mo man ambak Pag ambak niya, kita na sa katoliko, pwede paspasa eh. Paspas, kinahulog. Pag abas sa tunga sa building, yung hunong, yun, ginahinig pa ana. Sa, uy, hinay mo siya, uy, ang to niabot sa ubos. Wala maunsa, luwas. Palakpak ang mga tao, uy, very good, very good. Ning sunod ang Islam. Yung butong, Allah bless me, Allah bless me. Man, ambak po siya. Pag ambak niya, kita na sa katoliko, paspas ka yun, hulog. Pagkabot sa itong katunga, mong ihapon, ihunong. Man, hinihinig pa ubos. Hanto na abot sa salo. Katoliko na. Gulbaan na siya. Patay ako na. Masawa na ako niroon. Nangaluwas man sila. Hindi, <laughs> ampo po siya. Ampo. Pag umanig ampo, ambak siya. Pag ambak niya, paspas pa yung kaindagan. Yung pahulog, pahulog. Paspas. Gulbaan na gulbaan siya. Ala Buddha, ala Buddha. Bisi, ala Buddha, ala Buddha. Jesus, ala Buddha. <laughs> Nagkapuliki siyang tawag sa... Sa uban. Well, only to point out, only to point out, we have been, you know, we, we, were, we were born Catholics, most of us. Some maybe are, are converted, but most of us are born Catholics. From that time we became Catholics up to now, the same question we asked at the, at the very beginning. How strong is your faith in the Lord? How strong is your faith in the Lord? I met a woman, uh, when I met with her uh, at that day, when I, when I met her, ten years ago, Father, more than ten years ago, my husband died. 
And you know, Father, since the death of my husband, ni undang kong simba, I was very pi- uh, a very pious Catholic, very pious Catholic. She said, even active siya sa minister sa simbahan. And then, when her husband died, gibasol ni ang Dios. What happened was, because her husband was a seaman, and then she received a message that her husband died outside the country while on the way while nag travel the goal kesha and then she was assured that the dead body will be sent already to her so mga siguro mga one week maabot na so she was just waiting for the dead body and ibot na lang one month hangto dal tong 10 years katong istoryahan ni wa gyud na abot ang patayng lawas iyang bana na missing and she loved her husband so much and with that sukok isa sa Ginoo nganong imo ning gihimo sa ako wa na siya musimba there's only one time nakasimba sa tuig gi-invite sa yang friends nakasimba siya pero ingon siya ning simba ko tungod ani nila pero wala ni sadi ko musimba but the next sunday wala pud ni simba wa na ba siya musimba there are people who who look at problems like that gihatag ni sa Ginoo sa ako a muna kung dili maay ang dili maka magresolve sa problema basulo ng Ginoo basulo ng Dios There was this man, this is very biblical, named Job. He was a very rich man. And then, and a very pious person, very prayerful person, very, very rich. One day, Satan approached God and told God, You know, this Job, he is faithful to you. He prays to you because you are blessing him. You take away all those blessings, he will curse you for sure. And then God told Satan, okay, you go to him, do whatever you want, but do not touch him. Sige, buti satanas, ipapatay ang mga anak, ang mga tanan, mga treasures, kabtangan, bahandi, ipakawat. Na zero na giyad ang kabtangan ni Job, pati ang family. No? Yan lang wife ang nabilin. But Job remained faithful to the Lord. And he said, <laughs> yung pagani siya nga, hubo ko, ngayon siya kalibutan, hubo po't kumubalik sa amahan. Muna nga, nagpabilis siyang faithful sa ginoo. Ito yung satana sa iya sa, sa, sa Diyos. Ay, nagpabili siyang faithful ni mo kay dili man ni mo siya ipatandog. Pero magtagaan mo nagsakit, at magkasakit na, di ba? Balikason ka na. And God told Satan, Okay, go to him. You can do whatever you want, but do not kill him. Mutong yung ipatagag sakit si Job. Na, tanang, na, nuka-nuka, murag monkeypox. Nabulit yun sa mga ito. The point nga, mga iro na lang magtilap-tilap sa iya, mga nuka, may ang consolation. Eh, grabe na gid yung nuka. But even with that situation, Job never gave up on God. He remained faithful to the Lord. He proved to Satan that he is very, very strong in his faith in God. And with that, Satan left him and he was blessed twice than his blessings before. This is the story of Job. Very, very biblical. You can find this in the Bible. But this is telling us about this uh, one angle, looking at problems. With Job, kani mga problema di ay gikan sa Dios, gikan sa yawa. That is why kung nakai problema, ina lang kani yung yawa ayon ni sa mga kapusukin na buhi. And prove to him that you are strong in the Lord. That no matter what, never give up on God because God will never give up on you. Never give up on the Lord for He who has given us everything will put things every, will put everything for, uh, into place for us. We just have to pray always from time to time just like the disciples in the Gospel. Lord, please, increase our faith. But this prayer also requires our personal participation. And what is that? Going to Mass on Sundays will, be, will help us a lot. Uh, say, uh, praying the Rosary will help us a lot. Reading religious articles, especially the Bible, will help us a lot. Personal endeavor, personal effort in strengthening and increasing our faith is also needed. But the grace is there. But the, and the moment we exert with uh, our sincere and honest effort to also grow in faith, we will certainly grow in faith. So, ato nimpan ng kamutan. Things are readily available for us. We just have to participate 
in in this matter and we we need this particular grace increase our faith O oh lord in this mass this is what we pray and we pray also for those who are at this time kanang gitest sa ilahang faith sa ginoo labi na through the problems this world brings them nga makalahutay sila and may they be able to realize that uh, all these gi permit sa ginoo yes but they just have to prove that they are strong in their faith in the Lord. Likewise, with ourselves too. To God be the glory. Let us now profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in visible and visible. Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son, born from Father and before all ages, light from light, night from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things remain. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was in the of the Virgin Mary, and he came not. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Challenged by the Lord to grow in faith and trusting only in His merciful love, let us humbly present our petitions to Him as we say, Lord, graciously hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. For the Church, the great family of believers all over the world, may she always be guided by a spirit of faith which sees God's providential presence even in the most confusing events. Let us pray. Lord, graciously hear us. For the Holy Father, our bishops and priests, may they continue to inspire us with their persevering faith and their hard work for the good of all, the people entrusted to their care. Let us pray. Lord, graciously hear us. For all those afflicted by sickness or big disappointment, with their faith in a loving and all-wise God, be their strength as they strive to rebuild their lives. Let us pray. Lord, graciously hear us. For our missionaries, the heroes of our faith, may they never grow discouraged by the meager results of their labors, but constantly trust in the Lord. Let us pray. Lord, graciously hear us. For all those committed to promote social justice, may their efforts be crowned with success, thanks to their hard work and God's blessing. Let us pray. Lord, graciously hear us. For our youth who are instinctively brought to trust only in themselves, may they remember that God alone is the source of all energy and achievement. Let us pray. Lord, graciously hear us. That all those who have fallen asleep in death, trusting in God's mercy, may be accepted in heaven, especially the victims of the war in Ukraine and COVID-19 and the warring countries or warring countries, the disease members of the sponsors, benefactors, and cooperators of the Pauline's media mission. Let us pray. Lord, graciously hear us. 
Lord God, yours is the field in which we are called to work, and yours is the energy we need to fruitfully labor in it. Grant us the humility we need to acknowledge this, and the indispensable faith to persevere in your service. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Brothers and sisters, at these, my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Accept, O Lord, we pray, the sacrifices instituted by your commands, and through the sacred mysteries which we celebrate with dutiful service, graciously complete the sanctifying work by which you are pleased to redeem us. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your Lift up your hearts. Up Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you laid the foundations of the world and you have arranged the change, changing of times and seasons. You formed man in your own image and set humanity over the whole world in all its wonder. To rule in your name over all you have made and forever praise you in your mighty works through christ our lord and so with all the angels we praise you as in joyful celebration we acclaim <laughs> of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them that the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended to the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith. <laughs> Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Lord, remember your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. 
together with Francis our Pope, with Romulo and George our bishops, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have gone to the rest in the hope of their resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. the Savior's command informed by divine teaching, we dare to say. We may be always free from sin and safe from all distresses. We await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, you who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace.
brothers and sisters, behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Say the word, and my soul shall be healed. For those who cannot receive Holy Communion, we pray the spiritual communion. Jesus, Master, you assure me, I am the life. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood will have eternal life. In baptism and in the sacrament of reconciliation, you have communicated to me this life of yours. Now you nourish it by making yourself my food. Take my heart, detach it from the vain things of the world. With all my heart I love you above all things because you are infinite good and eternal happiness. Let us pray. Grant us, Almighty God, that we may be refreshed and nourished by the sacrament which we have received, so as to be transformed into what we consume. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Heart of Hope As he and a former student traveled through Vietnam, Donny encountered the Heart of Hope, the exotic flowers, the spicy dishes, the Audi worn for celebrations, spoke with subtle intensity of life fully lived. The Heart of Hope Available at the Poland's Media Center, Bolton Street, Davao City, at 170 per copy. The Lord be with you. And, with your spirit. and may the Almighty God bless, guide, and protect you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Amen.